joins us tonight live from Rabobank Arena. Carrie, I know people are just coming in. We're just under an hour away from puck drop. What's the atmosphere like? You can already feel it, Jess. So they just turned the lights down, which means we're getting ready for the team to get out here on the ice. But everyone's been so excited. This has been the talk of the town as the Condors bring playoff hockey here. And now they're getting ready for the second round as they get ready for game one of the Pacific Division Finals against the San Diego Goals, a team that's very similar to the Condors on the ice. So we're looking to see a great matchup here during this week. And we're excited to see them bring playoff hockey back here to Condors ice. And again, San Diego Goals is a team that the Condors Condors have faced throughout the season, becoming very familiar with the goals. They both have veterans, some up-and-coming players, and strong netminders just like the Condors. And both of these teams have met 10 times during the regular season with the goals taking the edge by two more wins. But when the Condors hit their stride down the stretch, they put up 20 goals on the goals, winning three of their last five meetings. And Bakersfield is feeling good after securing the franchise's first American Hockey League playoff series win against Colorado. So there's definitely a confidence here in Condorstown. Just enjoying every day. This is a this is a special opportunity. So you gotta you gotta be excited about what's happening, but at the same time, you can't get uh, you know overwhelmed with the situations. And um, like I said, the the way we kind of conduct ourselves is having fun every day. So it uh, it's an easy transition into going into pressure situations. I thought. Uh that crowd raised the hairs on the back of my neck, I can tell you that, especially down that last minute. And to see the joy and jubilation uh, of the people in the community, um, I think that crowd helps spur our team forward. We're going to need them here in game number one to set the tone, and uh, we're excited about what they bring to the table. And you still have some time to get here to fill out Rabobank Arena. There was a crowd of over 8,000. We're expecting a little bit more for this series. Doors just open, as Jess mentioned earlier, and puck drop is at 7. But to today, Bakersfield College was hosting Cypress College. The Chargers went up early, 5-0 after two innings. Ashanti Ross, the pitcher, tries to pick him at first, but the ball's going to roll, and it, Ross is off, headed for third base. But soon after, he'll find himself in a pickle, and Cypress gets the second out there. As Cypress would go up 6-0 in the fifth, two on here, Bobby Silvis laying down the bunt to load the bases, and then Hayden Winters, he's going to look to clean it up from there, drops a shot in the left center. Three more runs come on down. The Chargers would take the 9-0 lead, but would go on to win it 11-4. The Renegades will have to win twice tomorrow to advance, but the Renegades softball team plays their playoff game on the road tonight at Riverside at 7. So we got a lot of great energy, not only here at Rabobank Arena, but across town as playoffs are just getting set. And we can see some of the fans piling in here to Rabobank Arena. And if you could tell across the way here, we got fans all dressed up. And you heard Coach Woodcroft talked about it. The excitement level and the atmosphere here nothing matches it and it's been exciting exciting to witness it and we're looking forward to the second series again game one of the Pacific Division finals begins tonight as the Condors host the San Diego Goals we'll have highlights for you later at 11 but for now I'm just going to soak up the moment too here live from Bravo Bank Arena I'm Carrie Osep for 23 ABC Sports back to you guys all right Carrie